Okay, so in this video we're going to take a look at the actual mixing desk in Virtual DJ. Before I do that, I want to point out that I'm using the internal mixer. Um, for this skin option, go to the config, uh, skin, and select the internal mixer skin. It's okay, -ish. you should be able to see this. Of course, this mixer is um, symmetrical. It has an output meter with a gain control. A PFL button, a volume fader, 3 band EQ with kill for each side, left and right. Also have a cross fader to both sides. Um, well, it's very easy, of course, what it does. Um, the volume fader control the volume for each individual channel. Um, on the output meters, you will see how loud the music will blast through the speakers. Uh, you should not go in the red, like they say. You can adjust this with the gain control, so you, that, you, so you have a nice maximum output, not in the red, not above 0 dB. Um, the FL buttons, are, if you select them, you will hear the song on your headphones. If you um, use the, the setup I explained in previous videos. And then you have your EQ. This will um, this separate the audio into different frequencies. The treble is high. The mid is of course the medium frequencies, the bass are the low frequencies. And if you click your mouse and hold it down and you put it down, this will turn down. So you have, you'll take the bass away, take the low frequencies away. You can also accentuate them, or how do you say that? You can make them louder. Um, the controls for most knobs in the Virtual DJ are. Um, left mouse click and hold will change it. Okay, no worries. Um, if you double click it, it will reset. And if you right click and hold, um, it will change it, but if you release it, it will go back. So this is temporarily. And same with buttons. Click is an activate, and right click is temporarily. Um, that's about it for the mixer going to look at the actual decks. Okay, so we're looking at the left desk. Right here, you have, of course, your file name or your title, your BPM right next to it, and a time uh, option. You can have elapsed or remain. As a DJ, you'll mostly use remain. Um, this is uh, a button to activate the shortcuts and the headphone output on this desk. So if this uh, desk is selected by clicking on it, um, you, you activate the shortcut, for example, play is P by default, you activate it on this desk, so if you press P, this desk will play. There we go. I press P. Um, here you have a waveform of the entire track, so you can see breaks and also cue points. Right here is a pitch control. Um, you can see the waveform, but of course it's changing as it goes um, is faster or slower. Um, you can set the range in the uh, configuration. I uh, recommend you use plus or minus 8% like a real vinyl turntable or CDJ. Um, this is a pitch reset button so it will take it back to zero. Um, but this also works slowly so it, you can use it in the mix but it slowly goes back it doesn't skip to zero. Down here we have pitch bend. This is temporarily slow it down or speed it up, so you can um, so you can catch the beats. You can um, beat match it perfectly. Um, right here you have a key lock option on or off. Um, this will keep the same tone of the music uh, even if you change the speed. But this has its limits, of course. This is digital um, editing. Right here you have your main play buttons, a Q button. And what this does is um, different things. If you're at a cue point and this will and you press it down, it will play the music. If you release it, it will go back to the cue point. So there it is. Um, if you are not at the cue point and you are playing, it will go back to the cue point and enter a pause mode or cue mode. But um, if you're not at the cue point, but you're in pause mode and you press Q, it will set your main cue point, Q1, where you are now. 
I'm not going to do that because my cue point is good right now. And this is a sync button. This will um, synchronize this deck with the other one, so it will change the BPM to to match that of the right deck, and it will also try to shuffle um, music so it matches the beats uh, in time with the other deck. Um, above it you have your hot cues, these are more cue buttons like these in fact. You can have three different cue points on the entire track so you know important points where you want to use as a mix or a sample. Um, right here you have a virtual deck, you can scratch on this, but this is with a mouse. I uh, will not compare this to vinyl. so. It's, it's there, you can see whether the track is playing or not, if it's spinning. So. Um, right here you have the different, more advanced, uh, different units in fact. This is a loop sampler. Um, this is of course the compact version of the full sampler right here. You can select one of these uh, samples and if you click it, it will play it. Dick in a loop. If you press it with the right mouse button, it is temporarily as long as you keep your finger down. You can also record a sample and you can change the volume of the sample. You can ha you have more options of course in the full sample. Same with the effects, you have all the options um, with dedicated parameters in the effect effects tab down below. You can see it. But here you have the simple version. You can have a break or um, I'll try a beat grid on play. Um, you can have the parameters for beat grids are not rotary, so you can't use them. They're in the full effects tab. This will use default, so this is a kind of a cool role. It samples a beat, and it, according to your settings, it will uh, make a drum roll. Uh, I can of course also perform a backspin. Okay, and it pauses the music, of course, after the backspin. Uh, right, this is a loop set control. I am not an expert in this yet, but the, the, the basic is pretty simple. If you want to make your own loop, you press loop in at the point where you want to start the loop, and you press loop out where you want to end it. Very simple. Um, smart, if you turn that on, and it will correct your own timing, because it, as you may know, it's very difficult to make a perfect loop, and uh, Virtual Leader can help you with that, so the out point, it will say it's, it's not perfect, but we, we see you want to loop 4 beats and we'll, we edit it for you, so it's perfect so Virtual DJ can do that and you can also directly make uh, a, a beat, for example 4 beats, you just press that it was a bad click so this is four beats perfectly looped, and you press loop out to end it, and just like in another loop, uh, press loop out again, and the loop will stop. I'll tell you more about this later in another video when I learn more about it myself. So that will be the basics of the mi mixing ac actual mixing desk, which you see. Um, we have some different options uh, which are directly accessible, for example beat lock, which is something easy. And instead of pressing the sync button every time, you can turn it on with the B button, it's turned on all the, all the time. Um, there are some disadvantages to this, but I'll talk about this later. So, that's it for this video. Bye.